Tokyo, a lively mixture of the traditional and the ultra-modern, Japan's capital is a city with something for everyone. Twelve million people live here, enjoying the many attractions of the city and the beauty of its changing season. So what do foreign visitors think of Tokyo? I love Tokyo. I think um, it's beautiful, the people are very friendly. Tokyo has there's so much happening. The transport, it's so easy to get around, the trains. It's easy to communicate with Japanese. There are many ways to enjoy a Tokyo visit without spending too much. The first thing you need is local information. At TIC, the staff can answer your questions in English, and pamphlets are available in many languages, including English, Chinese, Korean, and Spanish. This is also a good place to book reasonably priced accommodations. At the Tokyo tourist information centers, like this one at the Tokyo City office, you can use computers to search for tourist information. Where to stay? Tokyo has many international hotels, but if you want the true Japanese experience, why not stay at a ryokan? In these traditional Japanese inns, you will sleep on a futon on the floor of a tatami mat room. Some Tokyo inns have English-speaking staff, and some even offer free internet access. If you're lucky, your inn might give you an introduction to some of the many traditional Japanese arts you can enjoy in Tokyo, such as no tea ceremony, and puppet theatre. Trains are the best way to get around Tokyo. Station ticket centres sell one-day tickets, which let you go anywhere on the city's JR railways and the subway system. Platforms and trains are clearly signposted in English. Tokyo's transportation system is fast and convenient. So let's catch our train and go sightseeing. Asakusa is Tokyo's best-known tourist spot. Its famous Sensoji Temple is over 1,300 years old. On the pedestrian shopping street leading up to the temple, you can try local delicacies like rice crackers and bean jam cakes. <laughs> From Asakusa, you can take boat trips to explore Tokyo's changing waterfront. The cruise down the Sumida River takes you back to the heart of the city and the Bay Area. If you're an early riser, Skiji is the place to go. You can see over 450 varieties of marine products at this huge fish market. Odaiba in Tokyo Bay is popular with young people. Here you can try out some of the latest experimental vehicle technology. The Roppongi Hills Complex, Tokyo's newest hotspot, contains over 200 shops. A city within the city, it's a great place to window shop for new fashions. The best view of Tokyo is from the top of the city office, and best of all, it's free. The 200 meter high observation deck gives a panoramic view over the metropolis, which is especially beautiful at night. And Tokyo is great fun after dark with its host of dining, dancing and drinking spots. Eating out is one of the joys of travel, and in Japan, of course, you'll want to try sushi. At Kaiten Sushi Restaurants, you can choose from set-price dishes, passing by on an endless belt, and the prices are reasonable. 
and the taste, delicious. Monjiyaki is another unique and inexpensive treat. You cook this Tokyo pizza yourself at your table. In 100 yen shops, everything is the same price, about the same as a soft drink. And they're great places to buy gifts. Tokyo's 1,200 Korban police boxes are the places to go if you need help or directions. After the big city rush, you might be looking for a place to relax. Nestling in acres of dense woods, the Meiji Shrine is an oasis of calm at the heart of the metropolis. Many people fall in love with Tokyo, and once you've experienced its charms, you'll want to become a regular visitor too. <laughs>